Your Excellency, the Vice President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Emio Sibajo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Your Excellency, the First Lady, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Dr. Aisha Muhammad Buhari, ably represented by the Senior Special Assistant to Mr. President on Public Affairs, Honorable Sani Zoro. Your Excellency, the Chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, Governor Kayode Fayemi of Ekiti State. Your Excellency, the Governor of Sokoto State, our Right Honorable Amin Waziri Tambual. Your Excellency, the Governor of Gombe State. Uh, Your Excellency, Alaji Nua Yahaya. Members of the National Assembly present here today, our Royal Father of the Day, uh, Esunupe, His Royal Highness, Alaji Aubakar Yahaya, Bagadoji, the Chairman of the Leadership Group, Mrs. Zainab Indai Shaya, and all the entire members of the Leadership Group Management Team, representatives of the security agencies, uh, distinguished invited guests, captains of industries, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the city of Abuja and the Federal Capital Territory Administration, it's my honor and pleasure to welcome you all today in this very beautiful city of unity, Abuja, uh, to this very important occasion of the Leadership Newspaper Annual Conference and Awards. Perhaps more significantly, we are also gathered here to remember and celebrate a great Nigerian, Mr. Sam Indai Shaya, on his 60th posthumous birthday. Permit me to begin by welcoming all of you to Abuja, our capital city. All of you have, tra especially those of you have, that have traveled uh, far and wide. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, your excellencies, the annual leadership conference is one of the most anticipated social discourse events dedicated to ensuring good governance and general well-being of the Nigerian populace. And that's why in Abuja, we feel highly proud to be hosting this conference annually. In the same vein, the Leadership Awards has grown to become one of the most coveted and valued recognitions in Nigeria as it has, in the score of honor, highly respected Nigerians who have distinguished themselves in their various fields and areas of expertise. Our late friend and brother, Sam Indai Isaya, a man of great vision, conviction, strength of character, and above all, big ideas, has indeed started a revolution of thinkers and great minds in our country with this annual conference. And it is quite heartwarming to know that his legacy is being sustained through it. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the theme for this year's event, which is resetting Nigeria, culture, politics, geography, and the role of big ideas, is not only germane, and timely, but is very consistent with the concerns about our country as expressed by late Sam Inda Isaiah. Judging from the track records, public standing, experience, love for country, and intellectual capacity of our speakers today, I have no doubt that a robust discourse will ensure from this convergence, which will add positive value to our collective quest for building a better Nigerian society. There is no doubt, Your Excellencies, that big ideas, the ability to think outside the box, and the determination to push through on one's convictions are attributes essential for social, political, and economic transformation. The, for instance, the founding fathers of the Federal Capital Territory in 1976 had big ideas, never wavered in their convictions, and pushed forward their patriotic agenda, and today they bequeathed for us a beautiful capital city, which is a center of unity for all of us. It is my fervent hope that this process 
and the awards given will continue to spur our ODs and all Nigerians to think big and to move forward so that we collectively will make our nation the nation of our dream. Uh, on this note, I, 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 on behalf of the city of Abuja and the Federal Capital Territory, have the honor to welcome you all to this very important occasion. Thank you very much.